Oh, that's, that's so what disgusting. How did you cut the beans? Is, that is, so wrong. Wrong. is it stylish or is it wrong? As lovers of resin, we wanted to make a resin phone case for a really long time. And Evan found these awesome phone cases that actually come apart into different pieces so that we can make a resin insert. And then I told him that I would like to make it out of beans instead. <laughs> I, one of the, my great joys in life is making your dreams reality. Bean dreams. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. I wish we could just like pour the beans into the case, cover that in resin, and it'd be super, super authentic. You know, I don't know if this is working. It's a bean phone case. Isn't that what you wanted? But we know from past experience that covering wet things in resin isn't always the best idea. They fester, they mold, it's not great. So we got some dried beans. Ooh, we can make that work. We want them to be the color of baked beans. We want them to be like grease stained. <laughs> like you know, you know that you know that you have your leftover container and you put yeah. your like red sauce in it and it's forever that color. That is the color I want the beans to be. Yes. Mm. We're not really totally sure how to color dried beans, but we have some various pigmentation and inks. Mm. I think we should pull out a reference. Yes. Well, we do have beans, real beans. <laughs> Your version of them. That's a lot more brown than I remember, honestly. But we can still use this as a base and then right. try to make it even more saturated, like more of an orange color. You so know? this is the color of like the resin that we'll be wanting to pour, right? So ultimately what we're gonna do is adhere beans to the insert of the phone case and then pour resin over them to make it look like the sauce. Yeah, but we want to make these beans look like these beans. Or maybe an even more saturated version. Should we get out the macro camera for this? Macro beans, macro beans. Look at this bean. That is a great bean. Wow. Okay, so one thing I noticed is it looks like there's a little bit of a shell on them. Let me try chopping this in half. That was easier to cut in half than I feared. I thought we were gonna have to like uh, put them in a bag and like bang them around. We want them cut in half so that they lay flat. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna beat them with a hammer? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be difficult. <laughs> this wasn't what I was gonna do. I was gonna put them all in a bag and beat a bunch. That didn't work. <laughs> it just broke the bean. <laughs> Anyways, I was expecting a much bigger battle going into bean halving. <laughs> you, you thought that it was like, okay, yeah. Anyways, let's, let's try spraying some beans. Spraying them? How do you want to spray them? Mix some colors and put them in a spray bottle. What if I, <laughs> we had we had different ideas on a whole bunch of things. It just seemed easier to be able to do lots at once instead of painting individual beans. <laughs> let's, let's do a comparison. <laughs> so this is an orange. It's not a bad color. Okay. Not bad at all. Definitely has a little bit of grease hints. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. This is a tangerine. Ooh, Ooh. That's, that's a nice radioactive right there. Yeah, a little bit warmer. Yeah, 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 I like that. That's pretty good. I'm definitely leaning towards the tangerine already. Yeah, me too. No. No. That looks like boring beans. Boring, lame beans. <laughs> you gonna have like mustard and ketchup. So I would be down to do the tangerine. I mean, mm -hmm. I think of all of these. Yeah, I think the tangerine is the uh, best fit. It feels like it's been about an hour, <laughs> but it's probably been less. But I think we finally have enough to go ahead and start spraying. That was a good time. <laughs> Thank you. I've been holding on to it for like an hour. You've been holding on to it. <laughs> <laughs> but first, we need to paint this actual insert that we're gonna put in the bottom of the mold. Yes. So that it is also the right color. Ooh, that looks evil, right? Yeah. Seeing what powers it gives me. Now, hopefully spraying this with alcohol ink will leave it with like a little bit of a neat organic texture. We want it to-, to Look like an infinite pool of beans. <laughs> to look like an infinite pool of beans, yes. Yeah. Ooh, you know what we should do? Maybe some into <coughs> so alcoholic. <laughs> so alcoholic. Maybe some individual drops of like a sure. darker color? Brown. 
Yeah. And then blow it with the with the with with, with my mouth. I was gonna say a straw, but we don't have a straw around. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Wow, that's some beautiful bean sauce art. Yeah. Why is that one spot? I know, come on, man. Can't tell if this is pretty or disgusting. I like it. Yeah. Okay, bean time. Look at this. That's the color that I, I think I want. Yeah. So they are more orange. That is kind of what we wanted. I, I think that this this will be a more fun aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> oh, it's so gross cold. <laughs> Hi, I'm Evan, and this is my partner, Caitlin. You might know us as the people that brought you the revolutionary site, feelyourbutt.com. But the fact is, without our sponsor, Squarespace, it wouldn't even exist. If you're someone who makes DIY projects or art, perhaps you've had the thought, I should sell this. Well, Squarespace is for you. They make it easy for DIY creators to monetize their work, whether it's selling physical or digital products, offering access to member-gated content, or even offering on-site pickup to customers if you have a local store or sell at craft fairs. And now you can even create pro-level videos easily with their Video Studio app. If photos are more of your jam, you can utilize their professional portfolio galleries and even password protect some pages to share private work with clients. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So to make this bean phone case a reality, we're going to be using resin, of course. So our next step is to make a silicone mold to put the beans and resin into. Do you think you put enough thumb screws? I have to admit, I probably don't need this many, but I thought it looked cool. I did it mainly for aesthetic purposes. It makes me happy. <laughs> we have them. Might as well. <laughs> okay. Well, now that the mold is extra securely held together, mm -hmm. we can start pouring the silicone. 125? 125 each. Who, who, nice. oh, I overshot it a little bit. And if it's a little bit off, that's okay. Yeah. Honestly, silicone is pretty forgiving. I don't know why I'm pouring this in such a weird way, but I'm in a total like power stance right now. <laughs> I'm using every muscle in my body to hold the stance. <laughs> you, are, you are doing it in a unique manner. <laughs> I say it every time, but it still makes me hungry. Tasty goop, toothpaste colored goop. Rub it on your teeth, yeah. Let's get the secondary container. As always, we pour silicone into a secondary bucket because it's hard to get the stuff around the edges fully mixed. When we're cleaning this up afterwards, the second bucket that we pour into, perfect, like 100% removal of the silicone. But from the first bucket, there's always some like uncured goo in there. Mm that like, this will never come out. We should have poured this into a bigger bucket because it's gonna expand in here. We always do that. Oh, dang it. Mm. And so this is why we pour into a third bucket because we forget to calculate for the expansion that we're <laughs> about to see when we put the silicone in the vacuum chamber to remove bubbles. <gasps> this is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna come up at the camera. Oh. Yeah. Oh. More appealing to put on your teeth. Oh, there it is. It's good we transferred it to a different bucket. It yeah. definitely would have overflowed. Yep. Oh yeah. Now there should be. Oh, there should be no more micro bubbles inside the silicone itself. Yes. You know, the transferring of the full mold is always a really stressful part. So what if we just leave the mold? Just pour it in place. And pour it in place. You're gonna need a step stool. Yes. <laughs> but we have one of those. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. Right? It's always so Big stressful brain. transferring it. Big brain. Ooh, look at that perfect silicone. No bubbles. Oh my gosh. And we did remember to level it. We did. It is level. I'm so proud of us. Look at us with our big brains. Big brains. I think that's it. Wow. Nice. nice. Let's pressure it up. 
Raise your hands in the air. Drop it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I always think that of that whenever I like. Yeah. Party boy. No one cared who I was until I put on my mask. <sighs> the silicone is cured. We just pulled this out of our bucket. That means we can take it out of the pressure pot. Yeah! Party dance. And that looks great. Just a little bit, just a little bit leaked. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe I should pause. We might be here for a little bit. <laughs> are you trying to <laughs> make are. fun of how many screws I have? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh! Ho, ho. Beautiful. Yes! Oh! Okay. Well, now that that's prepared, <laughs> I think it's time for... Resin time. Resin time. Resin time. Do, 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 resin time. <laughs> because the, the bean juice color is such a crucial element, yeah. I feel like we should like prototype. Do a small scale test, would you say? A single bean. A single bean? We don't want to spare too many beans, okay? It took a long time to cut the beans. I'm gonna do something weird. Oh, you're gonna use the opaque universal tinting pigment? I'm gonna go with one drop white, Perfect. two. Okay. Two of these, tiny bit of brown in there. Okay. And then that combined. Oh, it's dark. Looks like. That's not ketchup. bad, honestly. Maybe a, a, a hint more yellow. And we might just have to mix it with more resin if it's too um, too opaque. Yeah, but like when it's poured down, we want it to be kind of opaque, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Because it's going to be a thin coat. Like, what if you eat it on the first try? I don't know. That looks like bean sauce to me, baby. Ooh. I mean, Okay, big. not the real bean sauce. That's, oh, you just pour it on the beans. I just pour it on the beans just to get a contrast, you know? I think that's pretty good. Like it's it's lighter than their bean sauce, but our beans are lighter. Yeah, I like I like this bean sauce. I like that bean sauce. Okay. It looks like a spicy bean sauce. Pour, toss pour over a bean. Okay, bean scale test. Oh, let's see. Okay. Oh, the beans emerging. Oh my god. Actually, looks, that looks like... looks really good. That looks that looks like what I want it to look like. I think you might have hit it on the first try. What? I don't even think we need the other bean. Oh, that's a huge relief, guys. We have conquered the sauce of bean. Okay, well, now we've still got to make more of it. <laughs> okay. Duplicate <laughs> your ratio exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> Before we do the final mix and pour, we actually need to prep the mold. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and put the plate. It should fit perfectly. Perfectly. I said, I told guys, come on man, I, I said that you were gonna fit perfectly. Okay, cool. It fit perfectly. It just needed some words of encouragement. <laughs> and now we need to fill it with the beans. You know one thing that I worry about? are perfectly, the beans floating out of position, perfectly Places. precise position. Also, you know, Oh my god, it's coming together, Caitlin. I know. It's crazy how much it does look like baked beans. It really do though. Oh my gosh, and it looks like a deep... Like a full pot of beans. Full pot of beans, that's what I wanted, that's my vision. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh, Caitlin. I know. I don't want to jinx it. Yeah. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm happy. Me too. Now, are they all coated? Do they have a nice resin coating on them? Because that alcohol ink will chip off if it's not coated. I think they all, they all were touched by the resin. Okay. Touched by the resin today. I knew that that's... Ooh, the, I'm touching those beans with my resin. 
<laughs> I, I just love that you knew what I was going for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they really do look like beans. <laughs> they really do look like beans. And that's the great thing about DIY. You can't buy this, but you can make it. It's probably a reason you can't buy it. Because it's too cool. It's bean time. It's time for some beans. Let me just appreciate for a second how this looks like staring into the depths yeah. of a full pot of beans. But don't look at it too much. Yeah. We want to do like a, a final reveal. It's, it's like sharp. sharp. It's it's really... Yeah, it's really sharp. So it needs some cleanup before it can... Before its final glory is revealed. Beans! <laughs> ah, look at that! It's beans! The look into the depths of the beans. Wow, that's so... Oh, it's so weird. The te you, you really do feel the bean you texture. You really do. The only downside is now I'm going to be hungry for beans all the time. I don't you think... Know? I yeah. don't think that would make me Take hungry out your for phone. beans. Oh, mm, beans. And then you <laughs> unlock your phone. Mm, beans. beans. <laughs> <laughs> There's beans in my phone and on my phone. <laughs> they, you know, they match pretty well. God, yeah. I just, it's so weird. <laughs> so many times when we make things afterwards, I'm like, I'm so glad that we have the capability to take these strange ideas and make them reality. I just like, just imagine being at the grocery store and you're like, oh, hey mom. <laughs> <laughs> There's just beans on the phone. Just talking to you on my bean phone. <laughs> you know, I gotta know what someone else thinks about this. We gotta yeah. take this outside of our, our little two-person bubble yeah. and get some opinions. What, what do you think of Evan's new phone case? Oh, cool. <laughs> we just wanted to show you guys our latest project. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's so what disgusting. What oh, do you, is it, it like, beans? It looks like beans. <laughs> is it beans? Resin beans. It is beans. It looks like puke. It's beans. Beans? Okay. Beans. It's baked. Did you beans. vomit beans? No. So it's real baked, baked beans. <laughs> it's baked beans. Wow. It almost looks too thin to fit the beans inside. No, the beans have been halved. Oh. oh, how did you cut the beans? We cut, we cut the beans with a knife. Oh, oh my god, that's a lot of cutting. <laughs> These are real beans. That is so wrong. If like... you put that on your website to buy it, I won't. Look, I'm both. <laughs> that I think it's, is incredible. Is it stylish beans. or is it wrong? Oh no, I think it's stylish and I will, I think it's, I will I think tell it's fun. you, I don't it's, think it's I original. use it every day, but I think it's fun. <laughs> I, I'm both uh, impressed and disgusted. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we were going for. It is bad, I had the stomach flu and I've seen that before. <laughs> what like made you decide to do it? Uh, Caitlin. Well, it's my <laughs> That's my girl. Yeah. Here's what I think, you know, you've got auditory input from the phone, you've got tactual input. Oh, yeah. I think tactual and, is a big And you've got visual. Yeah. So you've you're you're satisfying all the senses. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a sensory phone. It's a sensory right. phone. It's a multi-sensory phone. All right guys, this has certainly been really fun. Hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>